The best way to learn how to program is to practice. In this module, we're going to look at how do we practice using basic input and output, specifically printing string literals. This sample file is available for free download. The link to it is found in the description. We'll pause so you can practice this on your own and then see if your answer is correct. So this example, we want to print out our name and address. So we're going to do this first with double quotes. We're simply going to use the print command. This is a built-in command to Python and I'll use the double quotes. Now I'm currently using Visual Studio Code and you'll notice that it puts a closing quote for me. So all I have to do is put what's in the middle. You can of course put your own name or like I am, I'm using John Smith. To make my life a little simpler, I'm gonna copy and paste. And that's all you need to do. If I go and run this, you can see the answer just as what our sample output shows. Now, Python allows strings to be enclosed within double quotes or single quotes. Printing is exactly the same way. I'll use single quotes. Notice that once again, Visual Studio has put the closing quote for me. If you're using a different editor, Yours may or may not do this. Most modern IDEs do. And you'll see something like this. If we go and run this again, we'll notice that it prints out twice once for the first time with double quotes, and then a second time with single quotes. Notice that there is absolutely zero difference between the two. Now, Python does have something that's a little bit unique to it, which is the triple quote. And notice here that I put three separate quotes. Now, anything inside this until it sees one, two, three more quotes is gonna be printed. This means that you can print line breaks straight in here. I'm going to copy and paste this all in. Remove the hash symbol, which is used for commenting. And if I run this, you'll notice that it prints once again exactly the same. The triple quote is kind of nice because the three double quotes says anything that's inside. And it doesn't matter if it's double quotes, single quotes, line breaks, tabs, etc. It will print it out. So this works very, very nice and very, very easy for us. You only have to have the one print command. So some people prefer it. Others, they like only doing one line at a time. Now, what happens if we're not using a triple quote, but we need to include something like a single quote or a double quote? Well, typically we will use a double quote if we need to print out a single quote, or we'll use single quotes for our string if we need to include a double quote. An example here is John Malley isn't here. So I can say print, use double quotes, John O'Malley. Notice that the single quote does not end the string because we started it with the double quotes. And it prints just as we would hope. Now, what happens if we want to use a single quote? And we have single quotes in what we want to print out. Well, in that case, we'll need to use a backslash and this is called an escape character. This allows whatever we're gonna print next, if it's known as the escape, to print correctly. To print a single quote, we'll simply use the backslash single quote, or if we need to print a double quote, then we'll use a backslash and a double quote. 
There, of course, are others, such as a tab, which is backslash T, a new line character, backslash N, or if you need to print out a backslash, you print two backslashes to escape it and let it be seen. Notice that if you had a single quote and you needed to escape it, sometimes this confuses your editor. I've seen cases where it gives an error. You'll also see where a lot of times you have to go in and add the closing single quote. So just be prepared for that. Once again, we're going to run this. You'll notice that there are no errors. Everything prints out just as you expect. And so that's some basic work with printing of string literals. Look for future videos on how to improve your ability to program in Python.